Yo, what's going on? What's good? What's poppin' everybody? Mix right here, curator of gregarious games. Welcome, welcome all. Yes, I have made some significant updates to to the space. Added some posters as you see. One of the best albums in my opinion that was ever made and compilated by my brother Nazir Jones right here. Definitely one of the best albums that I have to say that I purchased back in my heyday. You know, back in the day, shit had the cassette, motherfucker. I still got the cassette, I believe, to this. Yo, just straight raw energy, you know, raw energy from Buster Rhymes right there. So, yeah, man, I went ahead and picked up some more. Rest in peace, Eddie Munson. Rest in peace, dog. This man shredded the fuck out of that thing. I mean, Duffer Brothers. Big ups, big shouts out to them and Stranger Things, man. Again, raw energy. Raw energy from that fucking scene, man. Season 4. Season 4, that's why I'm not going to do any type of spoilers, but you need, if you have not seen that, invest your time. Invest your time into that, man. All right, all right, all right. Enough of that. But yeah, I just had to do some updates. Oh, can't forget about my lovely one. My lovely one right here, Miss Lauren Hill. You know, just trying to just... Make it a bit more festive. I'm definitely going to be putting more posters up here upon the ceiling. So don't worry about that. I want to definitely be utilizing the space. So what we have growing on in here right now. Right now. I have some more girls that's been. That's been doing what they do. Like right here right now. We have some Pineapple Express. Crossed with Lazy Days Haze. Which would be these two. And then I have my Lazy Days Haze F2. Strand uh, Cultivar right here. Uh, this one, uh, let's see, this one here, this is a Lucky Charms that that is crossed with Lazy Days Hey, She was actually a seedling that I found, if you look at one of my pictures from earlier this week, I found this girl, and again, I'm hoping that it is a girl, but I found this one, she was just, um, just in the pot of one of the girls that I've been flushing. One of the girls that I've been flushing, she had came up from out of the earth. So I guess um, I did pollinate her with some Lazy Days Haze. And the seed fell into the earth, obviously, and started to germinate, do its thing. And wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. So now I got another one added to the collection. Lucky Charms crossed with Lazy Days Haze. Pineapple Express crossed with Lazy Days Haze. Got the Lazy Days Haze F2 right here. And we have pull up. We pull up here to the uh, top tier we got some good shit cross with blue dream cross with care bears and then we go further into the back side here we have fugue state cross with forum stomper that is from mephisto genetics that i got as a freebie so i would definitely wanted to run it and see what's good with it over here to the next part of our normally our vegetation area but i had to turn this into a veg slash flowering area due to confined space um, we have some Lazy Days Haze F2. This is a great example as to if you were interested or are interested, send me a DM uh, as far as getting your hands on some of this beautiful Lazy Days Haze F2. Just take a look. I have topped her in every which way possible. Same way with this girl over here. This one over here in the back is a uh, this is Girl Scout. This is a Girl Scout cookies right here. And if you look at those lighter leaves over here, that's because I pollinated her with, and I put the bag over her, so that's why those leaves are looking a little bit lighter to the tone. Um, here is another Lazy Days Haze right here in the center area. And also Lazy Days Haze in the corner over there. So we got four Lazy Days Haze, F2s, and a Girl Scout cookie. Everything is looking beautiful. Big shots out to my sister, my homegirl, Midwest. 312, where you at, where you at, just wanted to show some love, big shouts out to Mephisto Genetics, you know, definitely, you know, so you know, we are over here, this is where I normally have my girls that are in beds transitioning into the flower area, but due to space, I had to take these girls from the uh, flowering area, this is our big flowering area over here, I had to take these girls, flush them, isolate them, so that they can be able to dry out after I finalize the uh, final flush from this week. So that's what is going on right now. Their soil is getting dry. So by tomorrow, without without let up, I will be cutting these girls down. They will be hung out. 
also if you are new to the whole growing thing you will need during your flushing process get yourself a dehumidifier get yourself a dehumidifier because that will let your buds uh, get used to the fact of that they will be experiencing a, a lesser amount of humidity than what they are used to and you don't want these girls when they're on their final on their final um, you know on their final days I should say or their final two weeks they need to be starting to dry out but not very not a lot a lot you don't want it to be dried out a plenty right you don't want that just to get them used to the idea that there's not going to be that much humidity in the building so that when you do chop them down once you have them chopped down you're going to have another dehumidifier in your dark place in the dark place as to where you will be hanging these girls out to dry or whatever you use uh as a method of drying your girls and curing them for the 10 to 14 day period or until you hear that nice snap into the twig which normally does take about 10 to 14 days depending on the temperatures that's in your room or you know just however you have them growing or not growing but how you have them curing for the harvest period right so we have a lot we have uh this one right here is good shit crossed with girls uh, no good shit crossed with blue dream crossed with care bears this one is lucky charms right here this one Shit, I couldn't uh, let's see yeah this is the lucky charms right here this one's lucky charms yo check the colors on that this is a beautiful beautiful example um now scratch that let me show you this um this lucky charms right here I'm gonna go in for a closer look the the bud on this thing here is just massive one of many one of many Focus yourself on what I'm dealing with here, right? Some good cultivar coming out from THC Tone Genetic. I'll say about uh, at least two out of the three that I've grown so far has been in a positive light. Big shouts out to my brother Zaza.Genetics.Official for supplying his Boondocks Cupcakes. Then that my way, uh, that for, uh, for a grow off that we were uh, having for our team. Here is another Boondocks Cupcake of Zaza's very nice and back here where all the color you see all the beautiful purples and bluish and reddish hues going on here on the leaves this one is super og cookies so if you are interested in super og cookies definitely get at thc tone genetics underscore you can find that individual on instagram all right so yeah looking very good looking very good timing is good we're gonna move and switch gears over here these girls here in the front row they are nearing completion big shots out to my brother green boy for supplying his this is his this is his poo's honey which is a combination of white widow and firebuds genetics care bears the buds are insane man they are insane i'm gonna go ahead and get in here to give you guys a better guys and ladies shots out to give you all just a better look and see what you're working with if you are interested in green boy strand which is what you're looking at right here right now just check the colas man this is an auto and like I say it is very full up I have topped her I have trained her put her under the trellis any type of discipline that she receives she loves it you understand got some caramel frappe from THC tone genetics you know it's you know it's it's here I'll put it like that it's not as big as it's uh, as its cousins which is the super OG cookies and the lucky charms but I just wanted to try it out and see what it's like I'll probably try to cross her up you know later in the the months to come just depending on how she's just depending on how she tastes if she's worth the taste I'll invest the time and effort uh, what else do we have we have lazy days haze right here lazy days haze cross with boondocks glue this is what we got going on right here right now top the shit out of her looking very fucking nice and like I say she's not even close to being done these buds are only just the beginning as you can see you can see the little hairs they're starting to turn that nice amber color but nowhere near done what else we got back here we got our boondock saint for my boy Zaza over here we got boondock saint yep, yep. Uh, what else we have what else we have we have uh, Boondocks Glue crossed with some more Lazy Days Haze. Oh, all the way in the back. 
my boy Omi over at Numskull Genetics supplied his green gorilla omatics. I'm gonna really much say I believe that this is a, uh, a photo period. I'm really leaning towards the fact that this is a photo period because I mean just I've had this I've had this girl in here for quite some time and she should honestly be hold on gotta focus it out there we go she should honestly be up here in the front row that's where she should be but she is taking her time and let me tell you you can see already plenty of buds every freaking way just like her sister right here I did a little bit more training on this one just to test it out she really didn't care for the training so that's why I left this one alone and you see how tall she is she is tall she's the tallest out of the bunch all right this is about a good 10 minutes in my friends I was looking at this video game last week sorry to switch gears like so but this game is called um, uh, uh, biomechanical toys or some shit like that this as you can see it's like one of these type of shoot 'em up games I did the, I saw a review on it and I'm like damn it looks like it's it looks like a whole lot of fun you know look like a whole lot of fun so I'm gonna check this out I'm gonna zip these tents up right here right now and uh, you know guys ladies if you have any questions about my grows you know any questions at all you know if you if you need any tips let me know I'm here you know I don't mind giving out uh, free information for those that's that's willing to learn you know because this is something that's you know very much uh, a needed needed in our life very much needed in our life you know for what you know for various reasons or the other and I want everyone to have the best grows that they can be able to give to themselves and to others as well and definitely big shouts out to AC Infinity I went ahead and got me uh, not one but two of their fans uh, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put the other fan I'm probably gonna just get another tent so I can be able to receive feminized pollen and I'll use that second AC Infinity fan guys and ladies thank you again for staying tuned this is Grogarious Games with your host, Mix, right here. The truth. Tried and true, Trini, right here, you know. You understand? Okay, I'm out. Peace.